everybody is doing something i mean a mother is busy being a mom and raising kids um a hustler out there is busy bringing merchandise you know to go sell i'm a yule mamamboga going to the market to bring us fresh produces and everything a teacher is busy you know uh sharing knowledge with the students and so on a medical doctor is the same a scholarly a, a scholar is busy reading uh, you know to just put meaning to what is documented and so on somebody somewhere is always doing something now that includes anyone who happens to be whole for lack of a better word or who happens to be living with a challenge here and there now in the course of doing whatever you are already doing there is there is something that will be a deal breaker if it were to happen to you you know say for example like for a content creator probably when their camera spoils that's a deal breaker they cannot create content you know without their camera or without their phone or without their mic and so on for a teacher for for, for example if they were to lose their voice you know for because of a sickness or an infection and something like that that might be a deal breaker you know so that then probably they might not be able to stand before the kids or the students and teach them you know for a medical doctor maybe something like if their sight was to be messed they may not be able to actually do the procedures in the theaters like they have been doing there's always a deal breaker to 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 really what you are known for every day now the question i would like to ask us today is what happens if that which really makes you kick if that which really makes you even be called or be known by what you do is compromised for whatever reason does that mean life stops does that mean then um, your relevance is gone does that mean then you have to redefine yourself what happens when the very deal breaker in the line of your lifestyle is compromised that's what i would like us to talk about today now again for you who is coming here for the first time karibu sana my name is naomi and um find me so easily on youtube just by my name naomi wachie naomi ends with a y and you'll find me there and you know watch my content and let me know what you think i talk just matters disabilities and just keep uh creating awareness to every you know space that i am in about the world of those that living uh, that are living with disabilities so for you who has been walking this journey with me thank you so much let's keep doing this and for you who is my first timer karibu sana please hit the subscribe button like and drop me a comment and share this information like they say information is free but it can still be costly if we don't share and if we don't make meaning out of it so karibu sana now uh like i was saying again um just in my introduction um deal breakers can really make life change or probably completely stop depending on how we look at that you know for that chef who makes that good you know pasta in that five star hotel somewhere or who makes that wonderful soup what happens if they cannot move anymore if their mobility is compromised does that mean then they stop being the chef the famous chef that they have been you know for the, for that content creator who now you know for some reason now doesn't have their camera their phone you know their gadgets their equipment of operation like they call that what happens does that mean then you stop being a content creator does that mean you have to think about something else and in this particular case what happens when actually the thing that has broken the deal happens to be a disability now uh in 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 my line of career one of the things that can really quickly um change you are being there you are relevant in terms of what really made you get employed there is sickness like uh just, just generally the aviation industry is really based on so many certifications and one of them is medical certification you know where we have we i have seen people lose their licenses because they did not pass certain medical uh, checks you know maybe their one of their organs wasn't doing very well or their you know something is is just not right and that also includes even their weight is not within the required bmi and that can actually make you get grounded that can make you lose the job if you do not get it under control 
So imagine if it's something like weight, I can work on my weight. So, I mean, we have people who are underweight, we have people who are overweight. So whether it's under or over, like something like weight is something I can work on. I have worked with people in the office who got grounded because they were too light. So they were underweight and literally this person had to have like five meals in a day, you know, to just up their weight. Some of them probably are risking being anemic and so on and so on. And I have also equally worked with so many people who are grounded to lose weight so that that weight can be a deal breaker between you and your job and so on. That is achievable. But imagine cases where say because of whatever sicknesses that are going on you lose your ability you lose your vision you know you lose your ability to walk like as we speak actually one of my friends one of my friends wonderful wonderful friends that we are still hoping makes it actually has been like not able to walk for going to a year now from a medical or a procedure that went wrong and now he is, you know, he is kind of just bedridden and so on. So you see now for that person, they cannot go back to their routine work. And, and until probably they will be medically cleared when they recover, they may not be able to do what they were doing before they went in for that operation and so on. Now, my question here is, and this goes to everybody, whether it's an adult or to you, a parent, you know, and so on. What happens with, when that dream career of your child um, somehow gets compromised by maybe a disability showing up. You know, probably your little girl or even your boy always wanted to be in the beauty industry. But for some reason at some age, you know, the breakout happens and maybe they have acne or they have these just skin breakouts and their faces are messed up. Does that mean now they cannot pursue anything in the area of beauty, in the in the in the in the beauty uh, in the beauty line of of career? Does that mean then they are done? You know how flexible are we to 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 swap um, careers and just line of of being useful lines of being useful in the event of a disability or a condition? You know because yeah, your little girl might have always wanted to be a beauty, might have wanted to be an ajuma, you know, in the future. Or, or a Naomi Campbell in the future or whatever big names we have in the beauty industry but then something has happened and they can't maybe their mobility is compromised or maybe like we are saying um, their, 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 their appearance is compromised or like I have covered in one of the episodes maybe they get to suffer from a, a vitiligo that condition that kind of discolors you and you look like you have a different a uh, patch of of color uh, somewhere and you don't look very uniform what happens if that if that catches up with them H how flexible are we to swap or to change uh, our lines of what we are pursuing in the event of a disability coming our way or or coming uh, in the way of our children or under those who are our, under our care I just don't know whether society is is usually very kind for starters and that's what just bleeds my heart that's what grieves my heart. That sometimes society is not very, very friendly when it comes to such. We, we, I don't know whether we just do not know how to love uh, when the situation is not very, very lovable. Or probably if we're just sensitive and uh, we're just without uh, sensitivity really. And we just don't know the right thing to say in the event of that. Uh, so yeah, it's, it, this is more like a question I, I'm just posing to you, like what happens if the deal breaker had to come your way, the deal breaker to your career, the deal breaker to your hustle, and where in this case actually it is a disability, how flexible are you to, to, to consider another line of, of pursuing something if, if the mother line, the mother dream was to be compromised? And then just how, how, how easy is our system? How, how, how supportive is our system as a, as a nation uh, in terms of actually supporting us when the, the, the mother, the main dream of where we needed, we, when we, where we were seeing us, you know, grow in has changed because of our disability and so on. How flexible, how helpful is our current system in helping us consider a plan B, consider a plan C uh, when, when such happens? So let me know what you think. Like, did you do, do you have a case you can think about that actually you had to 
reconsider when something befell you when your skin or appearance was messed when probably a sickness befell you and so on can you relate with this can you resonate with this or or even you, do you know someone who had to change their line of what they were pursuing because of a sickness or a disability how easy was it and do you think there's room for us to improve on many things ama it's man for every man for themselves uh, in this case because the world of disability like i keep saying in so many of my episodes is is something that can befall anyone no one is immune really to to finding themselves on that side of disability but then are we just ready even as a, as a nation in the event of this happening either to you to your kin you know to someone to for even for you as a boss to your team member and so on how flexible are we to making sure that we still stick on that person's skills more than other things that could be you know they are now not uh, having an arm they are now not them now not having maybe their full sight them now not having you know their full potential to move around like they were doing how flexible are we to still keep the focus on their skills and not lose them because now they don't move as fast as they used to be now they need help in seeing um because their sight has been compromised and so on so yeah that's a question i thought i needed to throw to us and i would so love to hear this uh was 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 you are you still on your plan a of your life or did something happen and it had to break that how are you doing with your plan b or plan c did it even stick um what what was the deal breaker that that now made you be where you are or this is not even like you know resonating with you so let me know what you think and uh yeah asante sana let's um let's let's do this again in the next episode and for uh for you who can resonate with this please let me just share your story what happened maybe you wanted to be an architecture in the first place but something happened and your site for instance ikaribika did you still pursue that or did you not if what 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 would have what would have helped for you to have stuck on that regardless of the disability that that, that maybe the the the, the leadership mm. should look into because again there's so much uh, to be done in the world of disability but again those who are walking the path can help by saying because then they know where exactly it hurts in the journey and so on so yeah see you soon and thanks for now so yeah like i said again don't forget to hit the subscribe button and i'll see you in my next episode